Trade What You See with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. I posted the chart, of the daily chart of silver. You can see the big ABCD uh, up there near $27. And then for the past four or five days, uh, we've been talking about the possibility of it coming down to the 382 at 2391. That's the 382 retracement of that move. Now, since uh, the 27th, of uh, October, hey, let's try that again, Larry. Since the 27th of, uh, let's try that one more time, Larry. The 26th of, let's try it again, April. I was in Vegas doing a live trading session for the Money Show, and some of the things that I posted were things out in the future. One of them happened to be, to be a buyer of silver down there. If it got to be to 23.91, I said put an order to buy it at 23.92 and use a nickel stop. And I got a phone call from someone saying, you know, he's a very active commodity trader. And he said, you can, he said, are you, he said, I don't know what you're taking. He said, but you ought to change your medications. And I said, well, I'm not, I'm on, I'm on a high of life. I said, I don't have any medica medita medications. Actually, I take allopurinol if I ever have a little bit of a gout, which is maybe twice a, twice a year. But that, that's pretty much it. So anyway, at 11.30 last night, I got a phone call from this dude, and uh, he lives back east, so it was very uh, late last night. It was 2.30 in the morning for him. And uh, I, you know, I answered my phone, and, and he said, uh, I just got filled on the silver at the 23.92, and I put a five-cent stop on it. And I said, well, have you got stopped out? And he said, no. And I, he said, how much should I look for a profit? He said, well, if you risk a nickel, if you made, you know, five times a nickel, 2,500, would you be happy? He said, oh, my God, would I be happy? About 20 minutes later, the market rallied uh, up to uh, 24.45. It's now trading at 24.10. And, uh, and he said, well, he says, I, I know you're just lucky with that. And I said, you're right. I said, you know, once in a while you, you throw – uh, an acorn at somebody and it uh, it lands in the in the middle of the in the hog pen and the hog gets to eat so I, I made some type of a you know something uh, farmer type stuff and it was impossible to try to get him to believe that this is based on some Fibonacci numbers that work and sometimes they don't work but all through this time that I've been dealing with those folks over there I've been talking to them about the weakness coming through and here on the show here let's just take a look here this happens to be where we were here on silver just a uh, uh, day, day before yesterday. Uh, actually, it was yesterday. Actually, you'll see here that we had the the, the really nice ABCD pattern form in here, right there on, on uh, uh, May the third. You see, and then look what happened. We had a beautiful Gartley right here, another ABCD, and then we had the big move down. This is what sets up the twenty three ninety two. And uh, so that's what's happened. But I was just trying to get them to understand the ABCD pattern that you can see so clearly here. I mean, there's your there's your B leg right here. There's your C leg. And there's your D leg. It measures right here just absolutely perfectly. Now, these patterns don't work all the time. We, we know that. But, you know, sometimes they work. Now, we also been following gold. And if we do the same thing in gold, and this is the one that we were looking at yesterday. I'm going to follow through. Just to show you, you know, what actually happened on these, because I, when I do these videos, I try to give you an idea of, you know, where these areas are supposed to be, like a, a 382 of this move, or what the 382 is going to be uh, on the next move. That, that's all I'm really trying to do. So what we'll do now is we will bring up the next chart, which will also be the gold market, and you'll see exactly what happened with this. And this is when we were hitting the. Uh, in fact, you can see what happened when we hit the same price uh, in the uh, silver that we did in the gold. You'll be able to see this uh, big ABCD that uh, completed uh, right on the money. You can see the 1.618 expansion down in here. Here again, I did the same thing with silver, 
And the same thing with gold. And he had rallied up uh, right up to the 382, and it's been coming down uh, ever since. The problem is the gentleman doesn't doesn't take the time to, to, to try to go back and, and prove to himself that these things actually work. And until that really happens, you know, it really doesn't mean a lot of difference whether you, you know, say something's going to go somewhere or not go somewhere. You only have to be right about 50% of the time to catch a good one. And then if you can, you know, that gives you, you know, a really, really good, uh, really good edge. So remember, Mark Douglas, his whole focus on learning to be a trader is you've got to have a foundation in trust in yourself of what you're doing because if you don't then you don't have anything and that's the same thing like you were a golfer or a perfect example last night I happen to be a Boston Celtic fan because of family we know Larry Bird and I've been a Boston Celtic fan since Havlicek and Russell played you know back in the 60s and stuff and uh uh, they, they were playing in, at uh, Philadelphia, and, and I couldn't believe it when I saw the score. I don't turn; I have it on mute, and I I don't listen to this stuff. But it, it, there was 12 minutes gone in the first quarter, and Philadelphia only had three points, and the score of the game was 15 to three. And I called my buddy up. Uh, that's really a Boston fan, and I said, what's going on? He said, I can't believe it. He said, they can't make a basket. They only made three free throws, uh, the, the Philadelphia team. Well, Philadelphia came back, and the game went back and forth. But what was happening is the best player for Boston, uh, his name is uh, Tatum, uh, Josh Tatum, uh, Jason Tatum. He happens to be one of the best players in the NBA. For the first time in his career, nine-year career, he was 0 for 10. In other words, he took 10 shots and he missed 10 shots. And he took another four shots and missed those. Then he got a couple of free throws. And the game is going back and forth. And he scored like three or four points. With three minutes to go in the game, he goes crazy and, and scores six three-pointers in the game. Takes total control of the game and Philadelphia lost. And uh, it was showing you the same thing in trading is going on in basketball. You know, I could lose, I haven't lost 10 times. Where's wood? Here's some wood here. I haven't lost 10 times in a row in a very, very long time. It can happen. I've lost four or five easily, but here's a guy that he loses 14 times and then he makes the six shots that win the game. And that's what you try to do when you're trading is you find the ones that line up. And if you do those, you keep doing them and doing them and doing them. And, and if you believe in it, and I certainly believe in it. I've been doing this 17 years. Some of you folks really believe in it too, and that's what uh, that's what the whole thing is all about. It's just you know picking the ones and uh, you keep doing it, and you and you'll get it right. Because what we do is a little different than most people. You know, we're not doing Elliott Wave type stuff. We're not using moving averages or any of those things. What we're doing is finding a pattern that works, and if it doesn't work, we find somebody else. Hey, let's take a break here. Eight seven seven. 927-66-48. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. 
an amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Free at one eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Internationally at seven two seven eight seven three seven six one eight. Okay, folks, I posted a daily chart of the Nasdaq going back uh, about a year and a half, and uh, it was the same conversation that I had with the gentleman uh, from. Uh, oh God, I think it's in Boston. I can't even remember. No, it was Boston. It was the basketball game. Uh, anyway, uh, he had done the silver trade, and then I and I said, "Well, they're all the same." And he said, "Well, you sent a chart out on a Nasdaq that I don't understand." I said, "Well, I said, what don't you understand?" He said, "Well, you've got a circle around thirteen thousand, you know, four uh, ninety four." And uh, I said, yeah, you sell it 13494 because it was a 61% retracement of the high uh, a year ago. And it's also a 50% retracement of the high in January of last year. And he, he, he said, well, I've tried Fibonacci numbers. They don't work all the time. I said, well, nothing works all the time, but this is what I'm looking at. And I, I said, okay. So what I did was I went in and I went and got a chart that was a just a little bit uh, – uh, what I call short, shorter term. So all I did was I wanted to prove to him, see if I can get the right chart up, and I know I can. If you'll give me just one second, I'm sure I can. And that's not it. 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 This is it. Or, nope, that's not it either. Well, bear with me, boys and girls. I'm going to get it up here. I have to get it up here because it was an important one to look at, and I think this is it right here. Okay, so I got up here and I showed him. Okay, now this is, and I believe me, I'm doing this uh, over, uh, not over Skype, but uh, over emails. And so I sent this chart out to him, and I said, okay, now you can see the ABCDs are all coming together. And I said, you see how the ABCD comes up to that same number, uh, 13,494? And, and he says, well, yeah, but you can't use, uh, well, how much of a stop do you? Well, I'm using 20 points on that. He's, he said, it's $400. He said, yeah, that's acceptable. He says, but this is silly. He said, the trend is so up. He said, hey, this has got no chance at working. And I said, if by chance that it works, I said, would you subscribe to for a year of seeing this stuff? And he said, well, I might. And I said, you know what? I think that's a pretty good idea. You ought to kick the tires and, uh, you know, find out what's going on. Now I found the one that I sent it, and that's this one right here. But it, I updated it, of course, uh, later just to uh, ah, shut the front door and raise the rent. And we'll get this up here now, and you'll be able to see it. Now, what I did was I updated this a little while ago for the – the video that I sent out because there was our number right up here. You can see that number was uh, one one point away. The actual high on this was thirteen thousand. 
uh, four, ninety-four, and three quarters. So you got filled at ninety-four, and of course you had a pretty good break, and it's continued to go down. So you want to make sure that you lock in some profit. But because this is a possible daily uh, Fibonacci number, and I'm anxious to see if the Elliott Wave people pick this up, because I looked at it, and not too many people picked it up. But let me show you a chart here that we got from Mike, our good friend over there in uh, Poland. And uh, by way of Toronto, but look at this beautiful chart he's got here. It's sent by somebody. Um, he's a, uh, one of these people that post stuff on the. Oh shucks, I forget what's called. This is this a diamond pattern? Basically, uh, you know, you look, if you cut this in half, you're looking at a couple of symmetrical triangles. You're looking at a head and shoulders pattern. But Mike is right. The thing what he's doing is he's making a prediction that the market's going to do exactly this. Well. All I know is if you get down below that level, this doesn't going to make a whole lot of difference because this might be a 382 retracement. Now, I will, I will put this in my file because it's so symmetrically perfect. You can see basically what you've got here is you've got a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 expanding triangle, also known as a 3 drive to a top pattern. Then you come down and you rally up and that completes the head and shoulders. There's your right shoulder. There's your left shoulder. The right shoulder is lower than the left shoulder, making it a bearish pattern. And now it's starting to work in the right direction. So whether you call them diagonals, triangles, gartleys, butterflies, whatever you want to do, it all comes out to one thing, U and AB equals CD. And how much do you have to risk? It doesn't make any difference what the pattern is. You ask that question, how much do I have to risk? And if that answer is, yes, I can take the risk, Put the trade on, because just like Jason Tatum yesterday, 14 straight shots. He couldn't miss 14 straight shots if he was standing under the basket, but he did. And then look what happened, how he turned out. I, one of my favorite Larry Bird stories, and I got to go to his birthday party. His birthday party is always in July because his birthday is on December 7th, and it's outside of Terrell there uh, near where my sister's uh, uh, lake was. She's in a real nice place now, uh, retired place for her and Mike. But uh, I've been to three of his birthday parties. Fish fry is what it is. And uh, uh, one of my favorite Larry Bird stories is he's playing against the Lakers, and he makes this shot from the side where he banks the ball off the bank board, off the glass, and it goes in instead of shooting it straight off. And Pat Riley, the coach of the, of the Lakers, said, Bird, he said, you smelled on that one, man. Did you get lucky? And Bird looked over and at him. He says, I'm going to get lucky twice more doing the same shot right in front of you. And he did it. He banked it right off and put it right in. And uh, Riley never said to him anything again. They happen to be good friends, by the way. But uh, but he was good. He knew what he did. You know, he, he, he was good at it. So people that are good at something and can really do it, they're not bragging. If you remember Muhammad Ali, he says, if you can do it, it ain't bragging. And uh, that's what it's all about. I try to be as humble as possible because I've been through the bragging say, part of my life back in 1974. And God came around with her little magic wand and said, oh, let me tell you about pride. And oh, did I ever suffer? Well, I didn't really suffer. I learned a lot. But from 74 to 75, I, 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 learned, what, uh, hum, um, I learned what humility was. The good part was. I spent a lot of money on the way up to help with a lot of people. Anytime someone went debit at the, at the commodity, I, I tried to help most of them. I was able to help out. But I was making so much money at the time, you know, it was like, you know, well, why would everything, why would anything change? But it did change, and I had to learn, and that's when I, you know, picked up that Gartley book and started uh, sniffing around Fibonacci through my good friend John Hill and, you know, getting a few little patterns here and there and uh, Get a little better as I go along. Had a lot of help along the way with Bryce Gilmore and a whole bunch of other people. Mark Douglas especially. He's right behind me right now. I can hear him tapping me on the shoulder saying, don't forget me, Bubba. And <laughs> I never will. Anyway, that's what we're looking at here. If you have any questions, it's 877-927-6648. And when we come back uh, from the this break, what we're going to do is we're going to switch gears and we're going to go and take a look at the grain markets because we were really uh, wanting to, uh, to buy some grains today. Uh, they're jumping all over the map from what I saw. The report's been out 
a little over half an hour, I guess. And so there's been quite a bit of movement, and we're still uh, waiting for our uh, orders to be hit. And I'll I'll show you what they are, and uh, you can uh, decide whether you think it's a good idea or not a good idea. But that's what we will be looking at. And I've got a few other charts here that we'll also be talking about. So 877-927-6648. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I posted the weekly chart of December gold, corn, corn, Larry, corn, December corn and the 78% retracement going back a year and a half, uh, almost two years, is at 495. Now, so far we've been down as low as 505. As you'll notice here over the last few days uh, on this hourly chart, you can see here that we made a 382 retracement, which we saw coming. Uh, We came down, we made a new low, and then we rallied up to exactly 382 retracement of this and now we're starting to come down so we're getting close to that 5 uh, 495 492 level in corn that might not come today it might come monday but the good part is the report is out of the way it was uh, slightly bullish to the wheat 
and uh, it was a little um, friendly, sort of friendly to uh, the, the beans, but not not very friendly because uh, they're they're not moving uh, they're not moving up. In fact, everything is moving down, uh, with the exception of wheat. Wheat is the only one that is up, and, and nearby corn is up two cents. But the uh, December that we're trying to buy is trading at five oh five five oh six, and we want to buy it about uh, ten cents lower than that. It might take a dime. You know, to get there, but that's what uh, that's what we're looking at as we as we watch these things unfold here uh, today. Okay, so that that was the uh, that was the corn chart. Okay, now that we're going to do a couple others here because I think that they're important enough to give us an idea that yep, these things may be pretty good uh, down the road here. And here's one that we're getting ready for. Also, this one happens to be the uh, hold on. I'll get this up here, and you'll be able to see it. This is the uh, November soybean chart. Also, uh, very. I'm, I'm not going to give you these act because these numbers are not going to be hit today. So I'm going to wait for the videos and do those over the weekend. But you can see here we had the 382 retracement here, and now we're heading down, you know, to this level down. And this is a four-hour chart, so it covers a lot of days. And we're waiting for this larger ABCD pattern to complete. And as you can see here, it's down today. So the report is viewed as a slightly negative uh, uh, on the beans also. It was not, it was not a, a report that would, uh, what we could say, change lives. All it tells you is that the, the carryout is supposed to be pretty good. The problem is has nothing to do with the weather, folks. This is the 5th, uh, 12th of May. And believe me, uh, I've never in all my years of trading, which is seven decades, have gone through a year where we don't have at least one or two uh, major crop scares. So to get your, you know, those happen, and usually they happen at a time when you're least expecting. So what we're waiting for now on this November beans is for them to get down just a little bit lower. You can see we're sitting at the 1.27 of this level. If you want to do the work yourself, just do that at 1.618 and it'll give you a pretty good idea of what you're looking at uh, on that particular one uh, for a potential uh, buy. And there's one other one that is uh, really uh, on my on my watch list and you'll give me a second here. I will get this up here and you'll see it. We're not quite ready and well hold on just a second Laird. let's get this get this little puppy up. I'm not going to draw the patterns in because that's what my job is when I do the videos but let's get this up here and hope it comes out the right way and it's coming out the right way. This happens to be July soybean oil folks. This was the commodity that was my game changer that changed my life. This is when I was first starting to learn Gartley's after I had the book for since 1970. After I lost all my money in 74, I studied it for a year and a half, only pages 200 to 250, and learned what those patterns meant. And then John Hill showed me how to use Fibonacci numbers and how to put the patterns in. I gave him some names like butterflies and Gartley's and stuff like that, but they're all ABCDs. And as you can see here, we're headed lower. And that's exactly what you want to have happen because you're going to have eventually here in this July soybean oil a three drive to a bottom pattern. In 1975 in January, uh, my two mentors, Oscar McClure and uh, John Hurd, uh, two commodity professionals uh, traded only soybeans there at Conti Commodities had befriended me because I used to give them uh, some uh, free vitamins from Eli Lilly, and uh, they shared a bunch of information. They also were friends with Jim uh, Hannity and Earl, Earl Hannity and Jim Sibbett, so and Dave Nelson. So they were giving me a lot of good information, and they were saying that El Nino was coming, and uh, that means there was going to be a drought and beans and was going to go up. And, and the soybean uh, soybeans, soybean oil was trading, I think, at, at $10, ten, cent, ten dollars, uh, a pound. I mean, <laughs> here it's, uh, well, it's 50 some, five, ten times that. Well, it was, it was 10 times higher, but now it's five times higher. But I bought those, and, uh, and I started buying them for a period of about four or five months. And then when the market exploded to the upside, uh, and they went up about 10 times. That made it uh, a really, really good one. So I have a great deal of, of affection for July soybean oil. In fact, my uh, the Porsche that I bought, I had uh, I, I used soy oil 
as my uh, moniker. That was a really bad mistake, folks, in Southern California. S-O-Y space O-I-L. These were the old black and gold ones. Do you know why? Because there were so many people from Saudi Arabia thinking I was soy oil was Saudi Arabian crude oil and it was it was vegetable oil. So I got a bunch of bunch of flack uh, from that. But I saved the plates and I've been using uh, I used 300 gold for 15 years because when gold was at 800, I thought it was going to go to 300. It went to 250, but I had 300 gold when I first moved here to Arizona, and then Arizona, 300 gold was taken, and so I had to get a new uh, license plate, and I picked, uh, through my good buddy uh, Jim Elder, I picked uh, no risk, and so, uh, because I'm always talking about risk and how important it is, because when you put the trade on, you ask a simple question, can I afford to take the risk? I don't care what the trade is. You could be two flies landing on a watermelon. Can you take the risk of whether which direction they're going to fly off of? Well, if you can, yeah, take the risk. So that's that's basically what is pattern recognition is telling you that, hey, this is a pattern that may or not work. It works probably 60% of the time, but the payoff is going to be three to one. That's what that floor trader handbook does, folks. That 90-minute video proves without a shadow of a doubt all the work that Mandelbrot did on fractals and also with Gartley. Uh, all that stuff tells you that ABCDs work, but they don't work all the time. And you got to look for the signals that tell you that they don't work all the time. And that's what we try to do here is to give you ideas. But right now, this is just a normal pattern that looks absolutely spectacular, frankly. It looks like one that could be really a uh, really good one. Whether it's going to be today, tomorrow, the next week, I don't know. But all I know is coming down now, and that's uh, that's what you want to see. Is you want to see it get uh, moving to the downside, and that's uh, what we're that's what we're hoping. We're only down seven cents in the corn. Uh, the soybean oil is down uh, quite a bit. It's down a buck and a half, 140 points, which is good because the November soybeans are down uh, 21 cents. That's good. They're getting close to where they're supposed to be. So all this stuff is going to be looking really interesting come Monday because the report slightly bearish. But believe me, slightly bearish this time of the year means diddly squat. Do you realize that climate change sometimes doesn't change like you might think it does? Hello, operator. Thank you, Al Gore. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, you can see here the uh, ABCD pattern down at uh, six dollars and uh, four cents per pound <laughs> per bushel <laughs> and we rallied up uh, 60 some cents up here to 670 look at this we came right down to the 61 percent retracement of that <coughs> excuse me <coughs> and you'll notice the high today <coughs> so far has been the 61 percent retracement of the high over here so if you think Fibonacci numbers don't work, you know, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Here's another ABCD pattern right here. You can see three little drives coming right into the 61% retracement. Report comes out, rallies all the way up to here. Now it's trading down into this area right here. Uh, so those are the main ones. Now, uh, the grains do look a lot better than you might think. It, well, I, I'm just telling you my two cents worth because... That chart on December corn is a flat-out bullish chart. The uh, question is, are we going to make the last 10 cents to the downside? The fact that it's not rallying much today tells me that, yeah, we got a pretty good chance, so we'll be paying really, really close attention. Now, because you've been so nice to me today, we're going to take a trip across the pond, and we're going to go over to where they trade the German DAX, which is over there in Denmark and the UK and all those other nice places. I don't think they do too much in Germany, but I don't know. I know they trade the S&P, but this is the the German DAX. You can see the, the pattern there. Now, this is a short-term pattern, of course, but the you can see the patterns. There's your 135 on the downside. There's your large ABCD. There's the rally that we had. And then from there, of course, this was early, and then it sold off from that level. Next, we're going to take a look at the FTSE, and that's been one that's it's talking about a colorful chart. We are our good friend Alan Smith over there in the UK for sending this chart, but it shows you the beautiful color of these patterns. And this is what I used to make these charts, and my daughters used to color these in with their little crayons and take their plastic scissors and, you know, put them on the refrigerator. I wish I'd saved some of them, but... Uh, I frankly, I frankly uh, didn't do that. Oh, I had one other Larry Bird story that uh, my sister said I ought to tell. That is in 1980 when they were playing Michigan State for the championship. We all went to Utah. I had the whole family from Terre Haute come out, and I drove my – I had a new car, and I drove it up to uh, uh, Salt Lake City, and I got a ticket on the way up. And the guy would like the car so much, the state trooper, that he he didn't uh, he didn't give me a ticket. It wasn't it was a just it was a Porsche, nothing fancy. But anyway, uh, when when we got there, I, I I had been following Larry Bird because I didn't it, only for about six months because I didn't think he was as good as everybody said he was. So because they were in the finals, we went took the whole family there, spent a week. And when we got there, they had some parties, and one of the things they were doing is Larry's mother needed false teeth, and they were trying to get a donation to, to uh, you know, to get false teeth. And I told the guy that was doing the thing, I said, look, I said, let's just, I said, let's just buy the false teeth. Don't, don't even, don't. It's not going to be that much. Was, and he said, yeah, I said, let's just do that. And so I helped pay for that. 
and uh, he he was very appreciative later on. I got to meet him a few times, but uh, that was my my uh, one of my Larry Bird stories. There's a couple others that were that were quite quite funny, but. Uh, Let's move. He lives down in Naples, Florida. I guess he's a, a neighbor of Mr. Norman Winsky, who lives down in that area also. Okay. Uh, fact is, the reason why Larry Bird got to uh, Indiana State University, because he was at IU, and he got didn't like the college environment there at IU, and so he went back to Springs, uh, in Springs Valley, where he lived in French Lick. And uh, a couple years later, uh, they recruited him to come back to Indiana State. My good buddy Bob Thompson was in charge of that. And uh, we lost Bob uh, two years ago to Alzheimer's, but uh, he was the one that got Larry Bird to come to uh, Indiana State. Okay, let's get another chart up here. You don't want to hear all that stuff. I've got a lot of memories about it, but who knows. I think that was the main... Oh, this is the big one, folks. This is the big one. And we've been banging the doors on this for quite a while and uh, now the door has opened everybody's finally realizing that the trend is down now in the euro and it's been dropping and a big move in the dollar pushed the gold down quite a bit and also silver but we hit this 61 we went through the 382 of this move already folks which is a, a pretty bullish or bearish sign for the for the uh, euro so that tells us we're probably going to have a little bit more movement uh, on the upside here uh, to the U.S. dollar, i.e., lower on the uh, the uh, on the euro uh, currency. We took most of it out, but we missed the last uh, 50 pips or so. But we got that first 140, 150 pips in, and then I, of course I covered uh, right at the. Uh, uh, ABCD pattern that looks so beautiful and it was beautiful for a while but then what happened was it didn't turn beautiful and so this is one of those ones that when it doesn't work you get out of dodge and you move on to something else but we got the rally here the problem was the rally only got to the 382 right here that's all it did it was so bearish that it got to this 382 and then it went below and then it just started to hammer and then Whatever the report was today, if that's what did it, then it started to uh, go lower. But we're going to have some great volatility coming up here, folks. So keep your powder dry. There's always going to be a new trade coming around the bend. Without too much trouble, you'll be able to find some of these patterns so that they line up. And uh, we, we were going to have Mike Moore on today, but not, time did not allow it. But uh, he was talking to us about the uh, bearishness that was being portended in the crude oil complex and as you can see here those of you that follow those 3A2 patterns you can see them right there they're, they're just absolutely uh, they're, they're really magical the problem is like I say they don't always work and you got to remember that but you know why they don't work because if they worked all the time everybody would see it and that's it I will bet you a nickel to a nickel to a uh, let's see a nickel to a quarter that no one in any of these technical magazines coming out is going to point out those numbers that we looked at in the NASDAQ today at 13,944. I don't believe that you're going to find that uh, on any of the these. If you do, please let me know. I would like to see that someone says, yeah, boy, that might be an important day. Hey, it might even close higher today. I don't know. You know, because we were down big time, I mean, not, nothing disaster, there's not a crash or anything, just had a big move down. That's, that's all it was. And, you know, it has bounces and stuff like that. We're only down 150 in the Dow, down 24 handles in the S&P, down 100 and some in the uh, NASDAQ. So it's not a it's not a big deal. So that's what we're paying attention to here today. So we've got to pay a few bills coming up. And then when we get back, I want to uh, review the second part of the, uh, the, the second hour today, folks. I want to we want to look at some stocks, and uh, because especially because some of these banking stocks, uh, if when I listened to uh, Jay, uh, Jamie Jamie Diamond yesterday, that that boy's flat out bearish, uh, and I wonder why. So, hey, we'll be right back. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks, and uh, I, I hope you, you realize that, that, you know, Larry Bird and I are not good friends. He, he, he probably recognized me in a crowd, but that's about it. I didn't get any tickets from Larry Bird in the, the years, the, the 12 years that he played uh, for the Celtics. The only time, well, one time, that was in the 1992 when he, it was the All-Star Game. That's when he was, it was last year, and he was retiring. And uh, I owed someone a, a massive favor, and they wanted to go. Uh, it was in Memphis, and they wanted to stay at the Peabody Hotel. That's where the little ducks come out every day at noon, and they feed the ducks. It's a five-star hotel down there in Memphis. And so I set up a, a, you know, arrangements to stay a few days. And I needed tickets for the All-Star Game, so I asked Bob Thompson, who uh, was dean of education there at Indiana State University and who was a friend, a very, very close friend to Larry Bird because he got Bird to come to Indiana State. And I said, I need two tickets. And Bob said, we'll get them. And uh, the only tickets they could get, folks, was right behind the bench for the uh, all-star team, for the Eastern All-Stars, where he was one of them. And uh, it was really, uh, really quite exciting and anything. But that was the only time. I mean, I saw other games where I got tickets, but not through not through him. And I, I don't think I've seen many professional basketball games since I left uh, L.A. I used to see a bunch of them during the 60s and 70s when I was down there with Jerry West and, and uh, 
Will Chamberlain and all the other, Elgin Baylor there, but uh, not too much. Anyway, uh, let's just move on here to another one to, to look at. This chart is important, folks, this NASDAQ chart. Uh, if it goes above here, I'll be a buyer. That's all I can tell you. Uh, if it gets above the today's high, 13,000, uh, 394, whatever that number was. If it gets above there, then uh, boy, oh boy, it's gold. Hey, let's take a break. We'll be right back with another show. 